Okay, hi, I'm Dr. Francisco Hackman from Leafy LTMD. I'm a general surgeon and bariatric surgeon. Our topic for today is bloating after EGD. So the first thing to understand is how an EGD is done. The EGD is a procedure in which we put the patient to sleep, so the patient doesn't feel, doesn't see anything. Um, once we have put the patient to sleep, what we do is we insert a camera into the mouth or pass it down into the stomach. The esophagus is a tube uh, that connects the mouth into the stomach, and the stomach is like a, a bigger pouch. But normally, these are not um, these are not insufflated; they're actually totally deflated. So to be able to see and do the procedure, we've got to pump a large amount of air to create the space to be able to see what we need to see. On the EGD, we introduce the camera into the mouth, pass it to the esophagus, into the stomach, and into the first part of uh, the small intestine. What do we do to try to see for ulcers, any presence of a tumor, mass, or polyp, or any other abnormality that may change um, our ability to do the surgery or may grant us to do something prior to surgery with the purpose of making the surgery safer. Because during the procedure, we're pumping a lot of air inside the intestine. This is what creates a sensation of bloating. The best way to treat this is to be up and walking. Sometimes you can take as eggs or any other medication that will help you eliminate the air. Um, this is all for today. Thank you so much for watching our video. Um, don't forget to like us on Facebook, Instagram, and please share the video. Thank you.